In this video, we'll be looking at how you can figure out which currencies you should be buying or selling at any given time. The methods that are about to go through can be applied to any asset, not just currencies. So by the end of this course, you'll be able to trade anything you like using the principles that we apply to the Forex markets. So how do you know which currencies to buy or sell at any given time? Well, the simple answer is something called fundamental analysis. And fundamental analysis might be a term you've heard before in various different contexts. When we talk about fundamental analysis, we're referring very specifically to the underlying reasons behind the value of something. For example, you wouldn't go out and buy a car simply because the price was low or a lot of other people have been buying that same car lately. You'd want to see it, test drive it and understand why everyone else has been buying it before you decide whether or not to part with your money. This seems perfectly natural when buying something like a car because it's wise and will help you make more good purchases than bad ones. Trading is the same. Before buying or selling anything, you need to understand what is going on and fundamentally why making that trade is a good idea or not. By focusing on the underlying reasons that are driving the price, we'll have a much better chance of predicting which way that price will move in the future. It actually makes perfect sense when you think about it in the context of buying something in the real world. The majority of educational resources associated with trading are focused on teaching via a concept called technical analysis. The reason they focus on this is because it's very easy to explain and market a product based on pretty pictures or a strategy that does all the work for you, while fundamental analysis is often perceived as being difficult to understand. Unfortunately, these easy techniques, based solely on very simple and visual technical analysis, don't work in the long run. You need to follow the same fundamental analysis-based methods that professional firms use. So we made this course to prove that fundamentals can be taught in an easy-to-understand way. But the reason behind why and how the prices move have nothing to do with what is happening on a chart. So let's start by explaining how the prices move. The basic principle is the same as when you go on holiday and visit a local market or something, where there's lots of people selling and haggling on prices. If you see something you want to buy, then the seller will offer you a price. If you're happy to pay, then you'll pay, the deal is done. If you think that's too expensive, then you will offer a lower price and then the seller will decide whether to accept or continue the negotiation. As you pass different price offers back and forth, the price is changing. One minute it's X, the next minute it's Y, until you both agree and the deal is done. It's the battle between buyers and sellers that moves prices you see on a chart. When price is moving up, it means there's no one prepared to sell at the price at that time. And when price is moving down, it simply means that there's no one prepared to buy at that particular time. When the price stops moving, it means that the buyers and sellers are both happy and a deal is done. It's just done on a much larger scale using computers. And because there are so many different buyers and sellers all trying to agree on a deal, the price you see on a chart never stays still for very long. So now we know how the prices are moving, the next logical question is why they move. And more specifically, what factors are the buyers and sellers using to decide the currency is expensive or cheap? And this brings us back to fundamental analysis. Most every professional trader in the market is looking at the fundamental reasons behind each currency's value to try and get the best price. So if we want to compete, then we need to also be conducting a fundamental analysis so that we don't get caught out and pay too much or sell too cheaply. So what type of factors make up our fundamental analysis of a currency? Well, the biggest factor driving every currency is something called expectation. Expectation is simply what the market believes will happen next. And let's take a minute to just explain what we mean when we talk about the market. There's a very famous book about investing called The Intelligent Investor, written by Benjamin Graham. In the book, Graham talks about a character called Mr. Market. And if you do read it, which I definitely recommend, you can find out all about Mr. Market in Chapter 8. In the book, Mr. Market is presented as a person because the financial markets are, of course, made up of many different people all trading on the same core human emotions of fear and greed. This gives Mr. Market a very human-like personality which can be characterised in the same way any single person can be after you get to know them for a while. So who is Mr. Market? 
Well, he is described as a business partner to any investor or trader. That means he's your business partner in every trade you take. Every day, he will make you an offer of whatever it is you want to buy or sell, and you always have the choice to either take the offer or decline it. It doesn't matter what you do that day, because he'll always be back the next day with a new set of offers and prices for you to choose from. Now, the key thing to know about Mr. Market is that he's a manic depressive character who swings between extreme pessimism and being wildly optimistic in his assessments and price offerings. A highly emotional character that is generally oversensitive to unexpected events, both good and bad. He is often irrational in his thinking, but very often gives you opportunities to buy low and sell high. He is also very intelligent, so in general, his prices are about right, but sometimes they are completely wrong, and this is where your opportunity lies to make a profit. So every day, imagine that you're dealing with another person who will give you some offers of prices at which to buy and sell all the different currencies available. It's your job to analyse the true value of these currencies and spot the times when Mr. Market has made a mistake in giving you an opportunity to make a profit. You have to act fast because Mr. Market is always looking to make sure his prices are fair. So the minute he feels he's accidentally offered a price too cheap or too expensive, he will quickly try and adjust that price back to where it should be. The golden rule of trading is to never focus on what is happening on your screen with the price or even what you think should happen based on the rules of logic and common sense. Instead, you must always be thinking, how will Mr. Market respond? What will he be thinking and how is he likely to react to all of this? Mr. Market's brain is always focused on what might be coming next, not what is happening now. So you also need to be thinking about what might happen next and then base your trading decision on this over everything else. Professional traders very often talk about the market as if they are talking about a person that they're interacting with, and that is how you should also view it. In line with that, the market will very often have a mood or a feeling that it projects. For example, when it's scared, the markets drop heavily, or when it's excited, the markets rise quickly. These moods are often called sentiment. So when you hear this word, you know it's simply referring to what the mood of the market is on that specific day. So the fundamental value of all currencies is attached to what the current expectation, combined with the prevailing sentiment or mood of the market is for that particular day. So now we need to look at what those expectations are based on. The best summary I can give is by simply saying that all market expectations and its mood revolve around what the central bank in each country might do next with their monetary policy. Monetary policy is how a central bank controls the health of the economy, and they have a few tools for doing that. The best way to learn about them is through your own experience, because if we start teaching you all about all these tools, like open market operations and reserve requirements, you'll probably fall asleep. So the first major thing you should start paying attention to is central banks and their actions. And also, how the markets view and react to the things the central banks do and say. Every professional trader in the world, without exception, is watching central banks very closely, trying to guess what they might do next and how that will impact the currency of their country. To really simplify it, try and think of it like this. Every time the price of a currency moves, or a news event or piece of economic data is released, Mr. Market will instantly be thinking, how will the central bank react to this? Will this mean they will increase their interest rate or lower it? And the answer to that question will depend on which way the price will then move, as a general rule when conducting your fundamental analysis. And just a quick point to make clear, central banks will generally have the most impact on the currency of their country. So if Australia's central bank increases interest rates, this won't have much impact on the euro, but it will have a big impact on the Australian dollar, and so on. So now we know the importance of central banks, we need to know a little more about how their actions can be expected to move the prices of currencies. As we mentioned, their purpose is to make sure the economy is nice and healthy. So if lots of people suddenly don't have jobs, or the prices of normal everyday things are going up too fast, the central bank will step in and try and make it all better. They monitor the economy by analysing the economic data that is released every week. 
You can see this data every day on the special economic calendar that we provide inside our membership. This data tells the bank whether or not the economy seems to be getting better or worse, and then they plan their next actions accordingly. The data points a central bank are most interested in are the ones that give a really good reading of how the economy is performing at its very core. This includes data related to growth of the economy, uh, employment rates of the population, inflation. Those things are, well, inflation in particular, is how the prices of everyday things are increasing or decreasing. Now, every single trader will be watching and trading these economic releases because if they can figure out how the economy is going to perform ahead of everyone else, then they can enter their positions and ride out the moves for a healthy profit. So let's recap on our biggest lessons. First of all, you need to be using fundamental analysis if you want to make money. The very foundation of all fundamental analysis is what the central bank of each country will do next to help the economy. And finally, in order to try and predict what the bank may do, you should be watching the same economic data that they are watching as it's released. Of course, all of this should tie in with the golden rule of trading, which is always be thinking about how the market will react because what they will most likely do next is where the true profits are. This type of analysis will start to highlight specific currencies to trade. For example, if you notice that the Bank of England has recently been in the financial news and that all the analysts are talking about the pound and what they might do next, the logical conclusion is that you should be focusing more attention on the pound as a possible currency for trading. You wouldn't, for example, uh, go off and try and trade the New Zealand dollar because it's far less likely that any significant moves will occur when all the attention is on the pound. You have to have a good fundamental reason before trading any currency, otherwise it's a pure guess. And that brings us to another very important point. All currencies are traded in pairs, so you will also need to find secondary currencies to trade. If you think about it, you can't buy a dollar with another dollar, so you need to buy it with other currencies like pounds and euros instead. It can seem confusing selling something that you don't own. So the best way to imagine it is by viewing it like placing a bet. You select your pair and then bet which way the pair will move based on your fundamental analysis. This is essentially what the very first future speculators were doing all those years ago. Now the process for finding these secondary currencies and thus your pair is exactly the same. You read the news, watch the economic data, line this up with what the central banks are thinking and then figure out how the market will most likely react to it, all of that information combined. Then simply identify all the other currencies being focused on at the same time. Once you have your currencies on the table, the next step is to decide whether to buy them or sell them. And don't worry, because we'll be looking at this much more detail in the next video. To start gaining experience in how to conduct this type of fundamental analysis, we have made the process as simple as possible. All you need to do is start following along with the trading forecast that our team of analysts prepare each day. Rather than teaching you about hundreds of concepts that take hours and hours, we think it's more effective to provide the forecasts and simply show you fundamental analysis in action and how you can use it to find currencies to trade every day. When you're ready to start attempting some analysis yourself, the next step is to begin looking and tuning into the news feed we provide. This is where all market moving events and analysis will come first. You may find it a little overwhelming to start with, but after some practice and assistance from the team here, you will start to see profitable trading opportunities presenting themselves every single day. And of course, if you have any questions or would like to understand any of the concepts in more detail, you have complete email access to your dedicated trading coach for the entire length of the training program. They are there to help you become profitable in any way that they can. So to wrap this section up, the way we find the best currencies to trade is by conducting fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis is where we look at the actual reasons why the price is moving and the reasons are always based on what the market's expectation is of the central bank and their future policies. And finally, keep in mind that central banks will be monitoring economic data when making their decisions. So all Forex traders must be following those economic releases and the latest news and analysis in order to stay on the right side of market expectations. So now you know how to identify the best currencies to trade, in the next video we'll be looking at how you can figure out which way to trade them which answers the question of do you buy or do you sell.